today we are going to talk about duties of architects now duties of architects is something that we already know about from the conduct of architects which has been prescribed by council of architecture and the various bylaws which specify what the architect has to do but the government has in a new move said what are the explicit duties with the word duty used now till now all the duties of architects were implied you're an architect you have to do this by default by your profession so much so that that it probably became a rut job for the architect and you know that excitement of duty or that responsibility of the word duty was somewhere missing so the government has come up with a new act of parliament which was passed in september 2020 the name of the act is right here it is the occupational safety health and working conditions code of 2020 an act to consolidate and amend the laws regulating the occupational safety health and working conditions of person employed in an establishment and for the matters connected therewith or incidental there to now what does this mean that this you know replaces 13 old central labor laws which includes the factories act mines act sino workers stock workers building construction workers and many other persons but why and what is in this code for architects it has you know as i started with this video i spoke about duties of architects new duties of architects something that were already duties of architect but the government had to put it on black and white and say that hey architect this is your duty what is the duty duty is very simple something which is a concept for us for example a lot of you know uh, architecture students in their designs say that our concept is ventilation our concept is that we have designed this building to take into consideration the light path or the sun path and how the light enters the building or the concept is that we have you know inclined it according to the wind direction my dear friends that is our duty in any case because i am going to read this duty part for you so it says in section 9 91 duties of architect project engineer and designer it shall be the duty of the architect project engineer or designer responsible for any building or construction work or the design of any project or part thereof relating to such building or other construction work to ensure that at the planning stage while you are doing the design planning due consideration is given to safety and health aspects of building workers and employees who are employed in the erection operation execution of such projects and the structures as the case may be now you know it is that when these people are employed to do you know uh, or to make these buildings their working conditions are the duties of an architect engineer and the project engineer or the designer now adequate care should be taken by the architect project engineer and other professionals involved in the project referred to in sub section not to include anything in the design which would use or involve the use of dangerous structures or any processes which are hazardous so this is very clear now apart from that you know it is also the duty of the owner that a particular building is clean and hygienic is has ventilation temperature and humidity it's free from dust noxious gases fumes and other impurities apart from that you know since a factory is a deemed uh, you know workplace it is a workplace it should be provided with all the important environmental conditions which you know promote good health and which prevent any kind of injury to our health now these were the main points in this occupational safety health and working code now we are very clear that this is specially with respect to while the construction work is going on you know but i am just want to you know take it further is it only about 
you know while the building construction is going on what is the duty of an architect when the you know about the building and about the occupants those are going to occupy the building health and ventilation are the primary duties of an architect even for the occupants who are going to occupy and it is the right of every occupant of every building that he gets proper light and ventilation so you know our building bylaws especially the delhi building bylaw talks about architect's duty and architect's duties as such you know his competence that he would be able to do all the work related to building development and you know the permits now here the building bylaws as such talk about a lot of provisions that are uh, you know to be there to provide light and ventilation now to all the dear architects it is your duty to make sure there is light and ventilation light you know for the purpose of illumination light for the purpose of you know general well being of a person light because if the sun comes in it is also antibacterial and antiviral ventilation specially not only for thermal comfort but also for the very important purpose of airborne infection spread prevention so you no know, ventilation leads to dilution of the concentration of the aerosolized bacteria or virus which is in the building space and that will eventually lead to a lower chance of somebody getting infection due to the airborne infection spread of certain diseases now when i look at the council of architecture handbook of professional documents now this also has you know mentions about the architect's general responsibility to contribute to the quality of the environment this is not only you know in relation to the jungle and the dams and the rivers that he has to protect it is also about indoor air quality and about light and ventilation it also talks about you know that architecture is primarily the art and science of designing spaces for serving the multi various activities of human beings and for meeting their specific needs in the built environment all good you know but it also talks about the performance of human functions and the operation of mechanical utilities which so that they become efficient full pleasant and fulfilling it also talks about the duty of an architect so in comprehensive architectural services the architect is required to provide the following services with respect to follow in part 1 architecture it clearly says that heating ventilation and air conditioning and mechanical systems and lighting is the primary job of an architect now it does not you know explicitly say lighting but it says electrical and electronic now electrical for most uh, reasons covers uh, lighting for, for a building so now according to this new act which i am talking about about osha or occupational safety you know health it is our duty architect is responsible architect is going to be responsible for the welfare of the workers working on the site but we must remember that our basic job is to provide good conditions of living to all the people who occupy the spaces who make the spaces or you know at any stage of that space they are related to that space so lighting and ventilation is not just a design concept it is our primary duty so if you have you know any views with respect to this i would request you to comment below and you know you are requested because a lot of people watch the videos i'm seeing the analytics but a lot of people who are not subscribing to this channel so it is my humble request that if you are a second time viewer if you have seen a video before and this is your second video or third video or any video uh, you know after your first video then you have to please subscribe to this channel as a way of encouraging me for all the people who are the first time viewers you please take your time and subscribe if you like these videos please you have to put your comments in the comment section below and you have to like or dislike this video so that i keep knowing what your views are on the particular topics that is being discussed so really really thank you really really good to have you thank you very much